Good morning, how are you doing? This morning, I am cooking some things for a video. So I thought it would be funny to make pretend restaurant food. So we're gonna make a Chipotle burrito and we're also gonna make a Starbucks breakfast wrap. But I'm gonna kind of do it my own way so it won't be exactly what they would have in the restaurant. And so yeah, that's what we're gonna do this morning. So the first thing we're gonna start with is some coffee. So this morning I'm using Buttercrunch Delight, which sounds really good. And then I'm just gonna stir this with a chopstick so that it doesn't scratch the glass. This is my brother Sackett. He's 11 years old. And he's gonna help me this morning. I'm excited. Yeah. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna roast the veggies for the burrito. So we need the temperature set for 425 degrees. So then we're gonna take the veggies and put a little bit of oil in it and then mix it all together. And I have black beans, corn, green peppers, and onions in there. And we're gonna put a little bit of salt in it. It looks like you added glitter. Mmm, glitter. Then we gotta lay it out on a pan. And then you're gonna eat the rest of it. No! <laughs> okay, I'll try this. <laughs> no. Then I'm gonna set a timer for 10 minutes. Now that we put the vegetables in the oven, we are gonna start on our breakfast burrito and crack some eggs. Oh no, there's a shell! What'd you do? I told you I'm bad at breaking eggs. Well, I'm good at breaking eggs <laughs> in the wrong spot. Anyways, yummy looking. Delicious. That's part of it. You have to drop the bowl in the pan. Big. That's a scooby piece. Let me add another. Do you drink coffee? No. Why not? Because it has caffeine in it. <laughs> and it tastes bad. A little bit of maple syrup in it. What did you do to the bacon? I think I murdered it. <laughs> I think you burnt it. We're gonna try the bacon one more time. How'd you do? <laughs> Never try making burnt, burnt bacon at home. Do you purposely try to make burnt bacon? First time. Oh, Ever. okay. <laughs> so the breakfast wraps have scrambled eggs, bacon, and also diced potatoes. So we are gonna put these in a pan. Put a salt and pepper. So our veggies are all done. So next we're gonna make the burrito. And it helps to start with heating it up. Now, you might be asking, where's the salsa? Where's the tomatoes? Where's the guacamole? Well, 
The thing is I have to work with what I have because as of right now, we're in quarantine. So you can only get what you can get. That's my burrito. So now that our potatoes are heated up, we're gonna make our breakfast burrito. First we're gonna put some egg on it. Then we're gonna put some potatoes. And we're gonna put some bacon. I'm good, I got this. Potatoes will roll. Potatoes will roll. Even though they're cubes. Right there, I won't put them stick in there. Ta da! And that concludes the cooking portion of this segment. So now that I'm a little bit more awake, we are working on our absentee ballots because of the quarantine, it's not really a good idea to go to the polls. So we got these big envelopes in the mail and then we have to fill them out and put them back in these things and send them back in. We have is the presidential preference um, ballots and then also a school ballot, school board ballot and then also an official referendum ballot which actually is a, an amendment to the Wisconsin Constitution. Having fun over there? Mm -hmm. The pen's not wanting to work. Oh no, we have to get a new pen. So now I am taking the letters to the mailbox. I'm gonna put them in the mailbox. There we go. And then we have to put the flag up. You coming, silly? I think it's gonna be an absolutely gorgeous day today. I'm gonna have to go on a walk later, I think. So I'm heading back to the mailbox because I'm hoping that my package came. I'm having a package that is being delivered from a company called Pila, and they make phone cases. So we're gonna see if my phone case got here. So I thought I would open my package from Pila. Also, I don't know if you can hear, but <laughs> she has one of the loudest purrs I have ever heard. <laughs> this is pistachio. <laughs> my brother's named her. That's why her name is that. <laughs> But she has the loudest purr. And she also has a half mustache. Isn't that cute? So the cool thing about Pila is that their phone cases are actually compostable. Which is really, really um, interesting. Isn't this cool? So I got this one here. It's like a lavender purple color and it has a mandala on it and then it has this little cardboard thing inside of it. It says thank you for helping us create a waste free world. So after you're done with it then you just stick it in the compost and it disintegrates which is pretty cool. It's basically made out of natural materials. It's a soft case. It also comes with this little card. It's just a little message from the creator just saying thank you, which is really cool. I definitely need a new phone case because my old phone case is kind of coming apart right now. So I got that. Can you tell I like similar things? And I think it's really neat that um, they're trying to make things that are biodegradable and that are creating less waste. So right now they are actually doing a two for one 
deal. So if you buy one, then you get one for free, which is really, really cool. So I'll leave a link down below. I'm not sponsored. I just think these are really cool. And they have a lot of other colors and designs as well. So yeah, here's my new phone in my new phone case. Just like that. So I'm on a walk right now in the woods by our house. I'm walking with my sister and my mom and the dog. It's getting kind of dark now. Sunset's almost, it's almost sunset, so. Here's the creek. 